This video is brought to you by Law and Circuits. More about them later. In this video, I'm going to reuse this old toy car, which I have used in one of my previous video, and I'm going to make this radio control car a Bluetooth control car. But if you don't have this one, then you can use this two wheel robot chassis as well. But for this video, I'm going to use only this car. First of all, unscrew all the screws. The code for both the cars is different and I will provide both of them in the description of this video. Now as you can see, here is no receiver inside the car because I have already removed that when I have used this in my previous video. Now these are the PCBs which, are, which looks really awesome and these are provided by Lawn Circuits and the quality is really awesome so do visit their website the link is given in the description of this video. Now I am using here L293 d motor driver IC and if you don't know how to use it the link is provided in i button as well as in the description of this video. Now you don't need any IC base here. Similarly connect your Arduino Pro Mini with the help of male headers to the PCB. So here I have already soldered all the components to save some time. Now you have to connect your hair motor number 1 and hair motor number 2 and connect your power supply here. Now here is a jumper but you can connect your switch here. Now these all pins are for the sensors or servo motors. Here you can connect your bluetooth module. Now let's connect all the wires. Now while playing with your this bluetooth car if you, uh, if the working of the motors is opposite as you expected so just swap the wires of the motors then you will get your desired motor direction here i am using two 5 volt power supplies with this common ground the one power supply is connected to the motor driver IC and the other one is connected to the Bluetooth module and the Arduino Pro Mini. Now turn on the power supply. Now here I am placing a tape roll under the car so that I can show you how this car is working. Now just download this Bluetooth applic car application. The link is in the description of this video and connect it with the car so now our car is working as expected but if you notice here the front motor is not working properly there is no issue with the PCB the PCB quality is really awesome and it is errorless 
the issue is of the power supply because here I'm using 5 volt for the motor driver but you can but you should use 9 volt to 12 volt power supply so if you learn something new then there is a good news for you I have already posted a lot of projects on my Instagram page and the updates related to my YouTube channel so do follow us on Instagram the link is provided in the description of this video so thanks for watching guys so if you have any doubt regarding this project then do comment in the comment section I will try to sort it out as soon as possible